Hey guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons Online. Okay, we're back with uh, math again, mathematics, okay, H2 math. I'm going to be moving on to question 2 today, okay. Um, it is still part of your paper 1, um, but this will be question 2, okay, on graphs, okay. Uh, we are looking at graph sketching today, okay. So, um, uh, this question is a bit different, okay, because for this year's paper, um, what they did was they combined the sketching of a graph with inequalities, okay. So overall, this question is still an inequalities question, but you're basically going to use the graph to essentially um, explain, okay, or find your answer. Okay, so firstly, right, the first part, um, on the same axis, sketch the graphs of y equals to uh, 1 over x minus a over here, and y equals to b mod x minus a, where a and b are positive constants okay so whenever you're, you're unsure okay how should i be drawing this graph okay it's very very simple i want you to just put in random values into a and b okay so for instance in this case let's just say assuming uh, that a equals 3 and b equals to 2 just plot this into your graphic calculator and you'll be able to find um exactly how the different graphs look like okay so the first graph we're going to plot okay it's very simply your uh mod graph okay if you look at your mod graph this is actually in the form of, if you open up the brackets, y equals to mx plus c. So it is essentially a straight line, okay, except that when you mod the x minus a, what happens is that everything becomes positive. So if you were to draw the graph, okay, let's say if I were to use this over here, it will basically become a, oops, sorry, it will basically become a mod graph. So very, very simple. You just need to draw a mod graph. So by plotting this on your calculator, you should already be able to see it. And then you would find that um, um, after this part, okay, when you start to then after that go and calculate, okay, what I mean or, or plot what your y equals to one over x minus a looks like, you'll find that the same thing because of your value of a x equals to a, there will be an asymptote that will run down over here. Okay, so essentially this is how your graph for your y equals to uh, b mod x minus a will look like. Okay, whereby it is always passing through. A, okay, because of this part over here, x minus a, this would mean that this value that it will hit, okay, the x intercept, okay, the graphs here, x and y, your x intercept will be the value a. Alright, so after this, then your next graph, okay, your inverse graph, okay, inverse graph, take note, it always has the same um, features, okay, it always looks the same. There will, for this case, there will always be two asymptotes, okay, one asymptote you can get from the bottom which is x minus a. So very simply, x equals to a will be one asymptote. So you just need to plot it out. Okay, you already drew the line here. So it's just going to be x equals to a. So that'll be one of your asymptotes. Okay, then um, you have another asymptote. Okay, the reason why you have another asymptote is because of your value of y. Okay, so assuming that x, you sub in the value of x to be, um, it can be any random value. Okay, you'll find that y equals to one over something will always be equals to zero. Hence, your other, um, asymptote which is y equals to zero this is your other asymptote okay then after that you just need to sketch okay the curve okay you've already plotted it into your um gc so the curve will just look something like this okay and then this part here okay uh sorry about the bit of a shaky line okay it will look like this okay, so uh it shouldn't be touching the asymptotes but it should be going very very close to it Okay, and then all you need to do now is just to simply write out what this curve is called, which is y equals to 1 over x minus a. And the part it intercepts, k, which should be negative 1 over a over here. Okay, so um, in order to find out this intercept, you just need to sub x equals to 0, and you'll find that this intercept here will be y equals to negative 1 uh, minus 1 over a. So this is how your curve will look like. Um, just take note that your asymptote of x equals to a over here, okay, if you can, okay, always leave it as a dotted line. Okay, in my this app over here, I can't really leave it as a dotted. Um, but over here, try and leave it as a dotted line. So this will be part A complete. It's a very, very simple part. Actually, um, I, I, the reason why I'm taking so long is because I'm explaining to you if you didn't have a GC how to do it. Okay, but if you have a GC, just, call, just press in some random values of A and B that are positive. Okay, make sure they are positive. Okay, and then you'll be able to find this graph very, very simply. Okay, so moving on to the second part. Hence or otherwise, solve the inequality 1 over x minus A less than B mod x minus A. Okay, I'll scroll down here and I'll do part B over here. Okay, so um, they're asking you to solve this inequality. So what you would do, okay, is first find out where on earth these curves intercept. Okay, this is one of the key things. 
So you're just going to let 1 over x minus a be equivalent to your b mod x minus a. Okay, this would help you to basically find this point over here that is intercepting the two curves. Okay, because the reason why is because they ask you to find what is the solution of x, okay, that whereby when one curve is under the other, in this case, when 1 over x minus a is less than the curve of b mod x minus a. So you always want to find anything that intercepts first, okay, because that will help you out in your answer. Okay, so if you look at this part over here, uh, let 1 over x minus a equals to b mod x minus a. Okay, firstly, let's remove the mod. So when you remove the mod, you will get a positive and you will get a negative. So you get one side, which is 1 minus x minus a will be equivalent to b x minus a. This is the positive side. Or you have the negative side. 1 over x minus a equals to negative b x minus a. Okay, so one part is a negative, one part is not. That is what happens when you take out the mod. Okay, the other opposite side becomes a negative. Okay, so over here you have, you, you just need to do simple math over here. You get x minus a square equals to 1 over b. So you will get x minus a equals to plus minus root 1 over b. Okay, always remember your plus minus k okay, because when you square anything, okay, for example, you square root um, um, x square key, okay, you always get x and negative x okay, because anything you can, when you square a negative number, you will still get a positive. So you always, when it works the other way around, okay, when you um, square root something, you always get a positive and you always get a negative as well. Okay, on the other hand, this side over here, you get x minus a square equals to negative 1 over b. This cannot be solved okay, because you cannot um, square root a negative number. So hence, this part becomes an a, not applicable. Okay, so from this side over here, you will get x equals to a plus minus 1 over b. And so what you can do is you can then look back at your curve. Okay, when you look back at your curve and you see, okay, um, now that I've got these, these two solutions, okay, x equals to a plus root 1 over b and x equals to a minus root 1 over b, okay, you can use your observation okay, to tell what the x value actually is. Obviously, the x value is over on the positive side. Therefore, you can write from observing, you can conclude that x equals to a plus root 1 over b. Okay, because they are both positive constants. Okay, so if you take a positive minus another positive, okay, you're not sure what the size may be, right? But if you judge based on this diagram itself, okay, you could possibly get a negative. So you always want to reject that negative in the case. Okay, and therefore your answer is very, very obvious now. Okay, when you're looking for the part of the curve whereby your 1 over x minus a is less than your b mod x minus a, it is basically this part. Uh, let me get another color. Okay, so if you're looking for the part whereby your 1 over x minus a, okay, is less than your um, b mod x minus a, you're looking for everything that is basically down here. Okay, and because it is everything that is less than that, it will continue all the way, all the way to the infinity as well. Okay, and not only this, okay, you're looking for anything that is less than as well. So it will also be anything that it is more than this value over here. Okay, the reason being is because your this diagram is already less than, you see um, down here, this part over here is already less than your b mod x minus a curve. Okay, so your answer will be, therefore, x is less than a or x is more than a plus root 1 over b. So this will be your answer. Very, very simple, this question. Okay, should be three marks. So if you did um, find it a bit confusing, okay, make sure you go and replay the video. Okay, I think it should be able to help you um, in understanding this question better. Okay, if you did enjoy this video, okay, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay, I'll be out with question three very, very soon. Um, as well as to leave this video, um, I mean, I mean, do, do subscribe to the channel if, if you did um, enjoy this video as well. Uh, leave any questions you have down in the comment section below. Okay, I'll make sure to answer them as well. Um, and if you have any question that you want to request for me to go through, okay, please go ahead. Okay, and I'll go through those questions too. Okay, so if not, that's all I have for this video. Okay, um, to the next one. Bye-bye.